Allison is with us in Hammond, Louisiana. Hi, Allison. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, thank you very much. Sure, what's up? Um, so we just moved to Louisiana from Maine about two months ago. Um, me and my husband, we. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying to find a job down here that I like, and it's not working. So now I have uh, two jobs. I work Monday through Friday. I'm a tire mechanic at a shop. And then I work at a Harley Davidson store Saturday and Sunday. And then I'm actually in the National Guard also. So one weekend a month, I'm going to drill. Um, and I want to go to school. But with having a schedule like that, I'm, I'm just trying to break even on the bills right now. I'm not trying to make a million dollars. I mean, like I'm trying, but it's not working out. But I don't know how to balance work and trying to go to school at the same time while still paying all the household bills and creating a plan. What's your husband, Mike? Um, he's on a tugboat, so he makes 185 a day. He works 21 days on, 14 days off. Mm-hmm. So it's a, yeah. <laughs> so he's making, 50 grand. He's making 40, 50 grand a year, right? Yes, about, yes. Okay, and why can you all not make your bills if he's making 40, 50 grand a year and you're working? Yes, um, it's just. I don't know if it was because of the move and we had to spend a lot of our money to get down here and get all our stuff down here that we don't have as much saved anymore. Um, how much debt, it, how much debt will, do you have? Uh, we have two vehicles and I have a credit card of five grand and a uh, student loan for five grand. Okay. What do you owe on the, what do you owe on the cars? Uh, my car, I owe 19 and his, he owes forty, I think. Okay, forty thousand dollars, and he's on a tugboat twenty-one days out of thirty for that dadgum thing to sit in the driveway. That's dumber than a rock, girl. I, it's a. I, you're going to be mad at this part too. Um, it's a lease, and I don't know how to get out of it. Okay, that was that's the main thing. I would love to get out of that. Yeah, you car. need to sell both of these cars. You, you, the reason you don't have a life is you gave it to the dealership. You're in slavery. Both of them have to go. So the way you do a fleece and get out of it, you're going to get out of it if I tell you how? Yes, sir. You can tell Tugboy bo- Tugboat Boy his car is gone, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Don't, don't text him. Wait till you talk to him. To tell him <laughs> I'm serious. This stuff is killing you guys. Yeah. It's not the move yes, that sir. got you. It's these cars. You have sixty thousand dollars in car debt, and your household income isn't even sixty grand. I'm so sorry, honey. You're, you, I'm, I just, I'm mad for you that they just screwed you this bad, and you yeah. let it happen. Oh my gosh! All right, so how do we get out of it? So here's what you do: you jump online and find out what the stupid car is worth. It's not a car; it's a truck, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've been down this road a couple times. Oh, uh, so all right. So, <laughs> uh, me too. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. I just it's the same exact stuff I would have done when I was 25. Are y'all 25? I'm 23. Okay, close enough. All right. <laughs> and so, um, you, you jump online. Let's find out what the car is worth. The truck is worth. Let's pretend that it's worth uh, thirty five thousand dollars. Where did you get forty thousand as to what you owe on it? I'm sorry. Where did you get the number forty thousand that's owed on it since it's a lease? Um, well, we have we're gonna so for the lease aspect, I think we only owe about ten, but it's over miles. So mm-hmm. it's twenty five cents per mile mm-hmm. that it's over. Mm-hmm. So we were thinking that the cheapest way to get out of it would be to buy it and then sell it at it, the end of the lease. It may be. It may be the cheapest way, but let's go ahead and do that now. You don't have to wait till the end of the lease. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you call them and ask them for the early buyout on the fleece. If you wanted to give them a check and they give you the title. Have you done that? Is that where you got 40? No, sir. Okay. That's all together. You were just estimating. You were guessing. Okay. How long has he had the truck? Two years. What was the MSRP on it when he bought it? The, the sticker on it. 55. 55? 65. 65. Two years and then in. We got, that, that was a sticker on it. We, yeah. we got it knocked down probably to 
52. Uh-uh. Not on a leash you didn't. Um, okay. My so, family friends own the dealership. Well, yeah. They, they, they were so good to you, too. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> such a blessing to have friends like that. Um, so, <laughs> all right. So, Call them back and ask them to take back this blessing. No, they're not going to take it back. I wish I would have heard of you t- two years ago. <laughs> yeah, because I, I know. You're. It's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just hurt. I'm just hurt for you, and I'm just aggravated for you, not at you, honey. I just want you to get out of this because it's killing you. It's killing you. You're working in a tire store to pay for his truck. So, um, all right. So call the car fleece company and ask them what the early buyout is. I'm afraid it's going to be more like fifty grand than forty. Okay. I don't know, but you ask them for the early buyout, and that's like the payoff on a car loan. It's the same number. Okay. That makes sense to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Then what I want you to do is to jump on Kelly Blue Book, kbb.com, and let's find out what it's worth. And then you're going to have to come up with a difference with a loan from someone. If it's, so if it's a 50 buyout and you look it up and it's worth 40, then you're 10 in the hole. And if you can, you got to write a $10,000 check in order to sell the truck. And you're going to have to borrow that money somewhere. But I'd rather you be ten thousand dollars in debt than fifty, which is what I think you are in debt. I don't know. We'll have, you'll have to get into it and figure it out. But basically, you've got to cover the difference, and you're going to be in the hole. Just like if you had borrowed the money on a car loan, you'd be in the hole. You'd be upside down. It works the same way. It's only they hide it under the mystery and the fog of a lease, but it's still all in there. It's still uh, you getting screwed is in there. So. Here's what we need to do, okay? Um, I, I need to put the two of you, and he has he got Wi-Fi available on the tug? I, sure, I'm, I assume he does. He has cell phone service cell here phone. and there. Yes, yeah, sir. good. Okay. I'm going to put you two into Ramsey Plus and Financial Peace University so you can learn how to handle money. We're also, Kelly's going to hook you up with one of our Ramsey certified coaches, our Ramsey preferred coaches, and it's going to be free. We're going to pay for it. To help you get out of this Thanks truck. Very much. She's going to help you get out of this truck because you're so screwed in this thing. If we don't walk you out of it right, it's going to double the pain mm-hmm. or triple the pain. And um, so it's not, we're not making a dime on this. We're going to help you for free. I'm paying for all of it because I know how scared you've got to be. Yeah. He's gone on the boat for three weeks out of the four week month, and you're over here trying She's to fight hustling. this stuff off by yourself, yeah. and you're 23 years old, and you just moved to a strange town. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to love you, kiddo. We're going to walk with you. I'm fussing at you, but I'm fussing at them for selling you this truck and you for buying it, not because I, uh, because I'm mad at you or something. Yeah. I just I hate the injustice of this in your life, and I want to help you get out of it. So, Chris and I'll take care of you. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll get you set up with a counselor, Kelly. You can get her set up with Ramsey Plus as well. Yeah, and the main thing, Allison, is it's not always going to have to be this way, young lady. But you guys are going to have to lock arms and get serious about this and do the Ramsey Plus stuff together. Yeah, and you people, these car de- dealerships. That's immoral. For a 22-year-old young woman to walk on a thing and walk out with a $65,000 truck, that's immoral. That's ridiculous. That's just wrong. At some point, you've got to do business in a way that's a, that's a blessing to people. That's immoral. 